<laughs> no cute intro needed on my end for this one, so let's just get into it. If you're excited to look at the upcoming astrology for Bitcoin for 2021, make sure that you like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you never miss what the stars have in store for you, financially or otherwise. <laughs> Hi, I'm Erin. I am a professional astrologer, current philosophy graduate student, and entrepreneur. And this video, quick plug, is brought to you by my very own Modern Magic membership community. So if you want to join the Modern Magic membership little world where we have exclusive content, early access content, um, earliest awareness and access to my courses and my consultations with discounts on those as well, such a cool community that we have built. So if this interests you, things like this interest you, if you're new, check that out below at my website. So before we begin, just a little background to me so you understand how I'm entering crypto and um, my role not as a financial advisor but as you know the context. <laughs> as soon as I started getting very financially literate after graduating from my undergrad and becoming more independent, um, I found crypto very early on. For months I've been researching non-stop and I can be a pretty obsessive person once I find something I like. So in combining my love for finance now with my lifelong study of astrology, basically I'm tracking Bitcoin and Ethereum pretty heavily. And I was going to do both Bitcoin and Ethereum here, but it was going to be way too fucking long. So we're just going to focus on Bitcoin, but let me know if you want a video on Ethereum coming up in 2021. As far as my expertise, clearly I'm not a financial advisor. Any decisions you choose to make with this information are all on you. Um, if you do make a lot of money though, maybe, maybe, maybe hit me up. But if you um, know me through my election astrology, you can kind of see my methodology. I look at repeating patterns and then predict based on what has already come through precedent. So I definitely have the astrology and that analysis pretty down and that's a, that's a strong skill of mine. However, I'm 22, I'm new to finance. My technical analysis is not <laughs> anything expert to say the least. So in a few months, I'm sure looking back, I'll be like, this is the correct financial word for that or like this is how that would have manifested in the economic trends. So take it with a grain of salt, um, I'm confident enough to make this video, but um, I know the crypto community can be kind of like, uh, I've just, I've just, I've just been jumped on a lot. So uh, take that with a grain of salt, but you can see my methodology as I go. And unlike birth charts for politicians, the birth chart of Bitcoin, we have like a day, but the location and exact time is disputed. So I'm down to correct this if I do think that another time is more adequate later on. However, I'm pretty confident in the conclusion that I've come to about a specific chart for Bitcoin. But yeah, disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor. I might also correct myself as I grow and I become more financially literate on how the sim how I predict the symbolism to manifest. <laughs> but if you do want a whole video on the Bitcoin Bitcoin, like chart itself and how different it is than ethereum like they're really really different like if they were people they would be just very, very they'd be very complimentary i guess um if you do want a full video comparing those charts or breaking down the birth charts of crypto in general comment down below let me know let me know okay getting into it i will be using the major forecasts um events and some smaller ones but a lot of the major events that i mentioned in my 2021 forecast video altogether cater to what's most relevant for these charts uh the major transits of 2021 will be the major themes and I'll sprinkle in some other things that are relevant for Bitcoin. And for the chart of Bitcoin, I will be using January 3rd, 2009 at 1 15 p.m. in New York. Um, I know there's some charts that are used in Dublin um, uh, later that night. However, uh, a fellow astrologer, Patrick Watson, uh, gave me this chart and really, you know, convinced me. And then after playing with it, I really am convinced by the Taurus rising chart. And there's some evidence that um, Nakamoto would have been a night owl on the East Coast. So this chart makes sense for January 3rd, 2009. So we're actually going to start out um, on December 21st, 2020, because there's a Jupiter-Saturn conjunction happening right on their natal Mercury. And in the chart I'm compelled to use, this is also their midheaven really closely, and the chart with 22 Taurus rising that I'm using, yeah, as I mentioned, just works really, really well. And um, the Zodiacal releasing, either way you cut it, is going to line up with a fixed rising sign generally. But this one, I'm really convinced. Um, uh, part of the reason I'm actually convinced I'll slide in is that Bitcoin loves Sagittarius moons, especially like Sagittarius uh, new and full moons. It really has price highs there. And that would be the eighth house of a Taurus rising, the house of shared finances. So that's one compelling argument. Uh, but regardless, December 21st, Jupiter Saturn conjunction on Bitcoin's Mercury. And in my opinion, the MC. This is a big deal because Jupiter is growth, whereas Saturn is limitation. And I do have a full video on the great conjunction down below if you want the historical understanding of what this is. But 
Jupiter and Saturn, in my opinion, don't cancel each other out, but indicate a serious leveling off of this is the downward boundary and it's only up for here. Uh, Jupiter, Saturn together is a new structure, so I see a new floor or some kind of following the dip that was earlier in December that was definitely a more bearish indicator. It would make sense that from here on out, more longer term growth is um, indicated. And in this chart, Mercury is ruling the second house of prices of finance. So um, it makes sense for this to be a boundary to grow upon. And I'm watching this December 20th, December 21st, 2020 date very closely because it's one that will manifest very vividly, but I'm open to be proving proven wrong about given the contradictory nature of both indicators. However, I predict a new price floor that will be grown on top of. January 11th, we have Mars in Taurus squaring Saturn in Aquarius. And this is grinding effort. And in the sky, this is just very tense, very um, like uh, both back and forth pressure and then fear. It's very, very grinding. And this is happening right on Bitcoin's natal Mercury, uh, trining the Bitcoin, Pluto, Mars, and Sun. So it's like there'll be structural attempts maybe to reel in or restrain Bitcoin or crypto in general. Um, and Bitcoin's like, nope, I'm going to keep growing. And at this point that I'm filming in mid-December, there's been some weird propositions to like regulate the sale of crypto, requiring more personal info for all uh, all online. Like, like it, there's some weird regulations trying to get passed. So later in January and early into February, when Mars is uh, closer to trine, I see like the beginning of January sets, starts out with some setbacks or maybe some corrections more downward, and then it picks back up with some steam early uh, middle of the month. On January 13th, there is a new moon in Capricorn and new moons are new beginnings. And this is happening very close to the Bitcoin natal Jupiter. And Jupiter and Pluto together is indicative of the growth of something massive. Jupiter Pluto corresponds with billionaire level wealth. If you look at the chart of Warren Buffett, he has a very, very well placed like Jupiter Pluto conjunction in Cancer. And um, I have a full video on this new moon that will be coming out, you know, sometime later in January, probably after this video. But this is otherworldly virality. Like Jupiter Pluto this past year coincided with the growth of, of the virus, let's say. Um, and this is evil mastermind growing kind of vibes. So a new moon like this, like happening on the natal Bitcoin Jupiter, looks extremely significant for resuscitating or powering Bitcoin early on in the year. Um, and then late January into early February, we have Jupiter crossing Bitcoin's north node. Mars conjunct um, Bitcoin's ascendant of this chart at least and Mercury retrograde in Aquarius. So leading up to late January, early February, Jupiter crossing Bitcoin's north node indicates huge inflation. Uh, price surge undeniably late January, early February. Jupiter expands and the north node in this chart is the capacity to already have massive increase in a certain area. So with Venus also being right beside Jupiter in the sky, the two most positive planets are right next to each other and this is undeniable like late January, early February, looks very, very showy, very, very inflationary, not very substantial, because closer into February 18th, it does look like, it, if if this is a chart that is working well, we will know, because January 18th would be something more like a correction or pullback, or February 18th, excuse me. Um, if the price high happens, but not something more restrictive around February 18th or so, I'll reconsider the specificity of this timed chart that I'm using. So we'll see what happens. Uh, January 30th to February 19th with a Mercury retrograde in Aquarius, um, stationing just within two degrees on the 19th of Bitcoin's north node. Looks like some confusion or revision or slowdown. So stations do mean a direct uh, a return to clarity. Like if a station is direct, it's returning to clarity. So it looks like even during the price highs that I do see around this time, there could be some definite tech issues or misunderstandings or um, and then like hugely corrected and then another huge price high just definitely looks very bullish January into February with some like bullish dips here and there. But Saturn crossing Bitcoin's Mercury and nearing this north node looks like there could be some bearish reception or like there's volatility that makes spectators very worrisome. It also looks like there could be with Saturn being like institutions, institutions that are playing it down and trying to like buy things up while pretending that they're very bullish.
there's some caution in the reception even as there are like indicative the, the, the waves are rising so to speak February 11th there is a new moon in Aquarius and this new moon has so much fucking Aquarius I will have a new moon video coming out on this for later into January but the Sun and moon at 23 degrees are very close to the natal Bitcoin Neptune within one degree this looks very bullish like a delusional degree of uh, very very inflationary so it looks like things could be very optimistic in a very very inflationary context around February 11th very delusional idealistic kind of energy here. Then later in February with the transiting Sun and Venus crossing Bitcoin's natal exalted Venus and Pisces like February 25th ish this looks ridiculously bullish. Late February like or January to February it just looks like we have a lot to share and a lot to look forward to like day-to-day play-by-play may be more interesting because it looks like overall huge upward trend by this point in late February. However, early to mid-March might have some corrections. Saturn will cross Bitcoin's North Node, which is putting an end or a cap to the increase of the North Node contained natal. So during this time with the Sun Venus approaching the natal Bitcoin Uranus, highlights a lot of erratic or volatile movement so there definitely could be a price drop and like just a lot of a lot of very sudden a sudden drop here in response to the more bullish indicators in February mid-April when Mars squares Bitcoin Saturn around April 8th this is not a good indicator either this is not optimistic so it's not terrible by any means but definitely looks like we're having some corrections uh, by April from the early like February really bullish indicators April 22nd, the Venus-Uranus conjunction in Taurus will trine the Bitcoin, Pluto, Mars, Sun, and Capricorn. So later on in April, it looks like there could be a sudden increase. Uranus is very sudden and Venus is very strong in its home sign of Taurus. So it looks like sudden upswing in price later into February. Pretty confident about this one, February 20, or later into April, excuse me. Um, pretty confident about this one around April 22nd to the end of April being a positive favorable indicator. May 1st we will have Mars and Cancer opposing the natal Bitcoin Mars in Capricorn and Sun Pluto and like square to the Aries moon so early May does not look cute at all really really doesn't look good looks very fearful um, like we could have a sudden sell-off or something that happens that indicates a lot of fear in the population pretty bearish in uh, early May but then this is where things really, really, really start to pick up because May 16th, Jupiter in Pisces. Jupiter will briefly enter Pisces for this part of the year. May 16th, Jupiter in Pisces conjoins the natal Bitcoin Venus down to the minute, but Mars in the sky will also oppose the Bitcoin Sun exactly. So this is what I'm excited about, but also very, very keeping my eye on because both benefics, both Jupiter and Venus have dignity in Pisces. So having transiting Jupiter and Pisces at home and Bitcoin's natal Venus and Pisces exalted, activated one on top of each other is just extremely bullish. I mean, like it's also sextiling all of the Bitcoin planets in Capricorn. May into July as Jupiter is in Pisces looks very, very bullish. There are some downsides that I will mention though, because the Sun um, or Mars in Cancer will oppose the natal Bitcoin Sun in Capricorn at 13 degrees pretty exactly, which is really harmful. And I would guess a price increase but with some major challenge or maybe like the volatility is just ridiculous around this time like just never before seen could be extreme like could be a price high and then some other kind of trouble because it looks beyond favorable in some ways but it also looks very fearful in public reception but yeah june 10th the solar eclipse is solar eclipses are new moons on steroids that play out over longer periods of time so this in and of itself looks favorable but the mars and cancer opposite to Jupiter's Bitcoin and Pi or Bitcoin's Jupiter and Pisces looks really really unstable or like just very very volatile fluctuations I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that May into July while Jupiter is in Pisces but we have some challenging indicators to other planets for Bitcoin looks just like 
extreme highs but then pullbacks that are very very like frightening it just looks very like too good to be true but also like what is going on um june 20th jupiter in the sky will station retrograde in pisces very close to the bitcoin venus and exactly cross bitcoin's venus while retrograde on july 25th so retrogrades indicate going back which could mean that there is a spike in price around the 25th july 25th that is a return to but not quite the price of in may when jupiter first entered pisces and was a definite bullish indicator for bitcoin so july 25th is when jupiter will exactly retrograde over venus venus in virgo in the sky during that time will also oppose the natal venus and pisces of bitcoin which is a favorable connection opposition between benefics so it does look favorable end of july august 9th saturn will retrograde back over the bitcoin natal north node while venus transits over the bitcoin natal saturn and mars opposing the natal venus so there's a lot going on here but saturn is indicating restrictions or boundaries or limits retrograde means going back and north node means massive increase so i think it means going back to what was like a previous high um but looks restrictive like it was not as it the the rally was not as high as people expected during this time venus on the bitcoin saturn is reassuring that the bottom boundary is not too bad like possibly it's a dip that was a boundary early earlier on in the year like beginning of the year by this time mars opposing the natal bitcoin venus is not favorable at all very unfavorable and harmful so it looks like a disappointing withdrawal i would say a dip early august back to a a, a floor that we had seen before uh, September 1st, Mars will cross the natal Bitcoin Saturn. Another sharp dip, extremely unfavorable, definitely unfavorable September 1st, early September looks unfavorable. But by October 17th, we do have Uranus retrograde trying to the natal Bitcoin Sun and all the Capricorn planets basically, but exact on October 17th. Trines are favorable and Uranus going back means maybe a sudden return to a former high. Nothing huge, but looks like a return to a higher price level suddenly like a nice blip a nice increase and Jupiter will be on top of Bitcoin's Neptune during this time which looks very inflationary and um, like a sudden kind of whoop, that, that's nice on October 29th Mars in Libra will square Bitcoin's Jupiter Mars did square all of the other Capricorn planets in Bitcoin earlier in the month so I see tension building up to an unfavorable downward dip in uh, late October November 19th we have a partial lunar eclipse in Taurus with Venus very, very close to the Bitcoin sun. So technically, it would be close to the Bitcoin ascendant of this chart that I'm using, but basically any chart that you feel compelled to use for Bitcoin on this day is going to have a fixed rising sign, and that's going to be big either way with this. Um, so trying to the Bitcoin Jupiter and Sun and uh, Saturn, and Venus in Capricorn has already crossed over other planets and is now within one degree of the Bitcoin Sun. Eclipses are unveilings or release times, so it definitely looks like another high point of favorable around November. November 19th. December 4th, there is a total eclipse in Sagittarius, a solar eclipse, and this will be repeating similar themes to whatever happened on yesterday's eclipse on December 14th, 2020, which is what I'm filming this right after. So it looks like whatever happened on December 14th, 2020, we can expect very similar themes December 4th, 2021, when the solar eclipse is very similar and repeats. So look to something very deflationary, very downward. The south node involved here in indicates massive decrease and with Saturn during this time on Bitcoin's north node I would expect another correction another limitation um, so it could be something that is underwhelming but promising for a new cycle then December 20th Venus and Capricorn is when th is within three degrees of the Bitcoin Jupiter but stations retrograde so it makes me think that by December 20th we had a bit of a rally a bit of a comeback that's then squashed or corrected Mars and Sagittarius is also squaring Bitcoin Venus in Pisces so that does look unfavorable or like a downward dip December 30th as we close out 2021 Jupiter has entered Pisces and will conjoin the natal Bitcoin Venus in Pisces so December 30th we got a preview of this back in May when Jupiter briefly entered Pisces until July but I firmly predict a return to the price highs of May and spring later into December of 2021 I think a May high a July return to that high 
briefly, and then a more firm return to the high in late December 2021 um, looks promising because the Sun, Venus, Mercury, and Pluto will all be spanning Bitcoin's Capricorn placements during this time. Like, huge emphasis on the visibility of surging forward at the end of 2021, which ends the year on a high note. Um, so, in looking at the zodiacal releasing then of Bitcoin, which is the longer term timing technique, um, this November it did enter a level one huge chapter of its life of preparation or growth increase. Like, we can see that this past November it entered a whole new chapter in its life, where it will be until 2035. So, within in that it will have a major peak January to September 2022 and this coincides with Jupiter entering Pisces so it's reactivating that exalted Venus Bitcoin has. We could look at the day by day zodiacal releasing which I might do if you want me to do like more daily or weekly videos on Bitcoin astrology but given the so much of this transit analysis that we've already done confirming that this looks extremely overall like an upswing I think we have a lot to work with here for this just as confirmation. So to recap, I see substantial bullish indicators early in the year, May, July, and then firmly to close out the year with some pretty substantial volatile drops in between there as I outlined. Um, but yeah, let me know if you want more. Um, let me know if this interests you because this was fun to track. A lot of work went into this like week by week, but this is this is the kind of analysis I like to do. So let me know if you are someone who has more experience um, in technical analysis, how you would categorize the symbolism that I'm saying. Maybe you have a bit more terminology to use, but that is, um, those are my two cents or however long this video is, uh, however much ad sense this makes me because I know finance channels make a hell of a lot more than like wellness lifestyle channels. So hopefully this gets me on the on the CPM of, of financial people. <laughs> if you enjoy this and you want to check out my other offerings like courses or my membership community info, you know where it is down below. Otherwise, make sure that you like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and comment any kind of astro crypto content you want to see. I'm down. So take care. Sending love. We'll see you in the next one. But there is one thing.